are four days away from Florida's primary election, and some of the campaigns are really turning up the heat. Some TV and radio ads feature top members of law enforcement campaigning in uniform for candidates. And that has a lot of viewers asking us, are they allowed to do that? News 6 investigator Eric Sandoval is here now with what he found out. Eric? Yeah, guys, uh, our investigation on this was actually prompted by a question on my Facebook page. There are active sheriffs endorsing various candidates, and they're in their department-issued uniforms. Isn't that some sort of conflict? Well, here's what we found out. Florida's Commissioner of Agriculture is a tough job. Turn on any device. America didn't vote 100% with Nancy Pelosi. And you can't miss these political ads. A workhorse, not a show pony. Showing Central Florida sheriffs campaigning for candidates in full uniform. It is something that's come up uh, on a fairly regular basis. Hernando County Sheriff Al Nienheis is the president of the Florida Sheriff's Association. He says questions over whether sheriffs should personally appear in political ads comes up pretty much each campaign season. People do look to you mm -hmm. to not just uphold the law, but to provide them with information that's important, uh, particularly as it relates to law enforcement. And so each sheriff has to make that call uh, himself or herself. But are they allowed to do it? New Six investigated, and we found the Federal Hatch Act, also known as Title V. Written in 1939, it prohibits federal, state, and local employees from using their authority or influence to interfere or affect the result of an election. The state of Florida has a similar law with almost the exact same language. I think that people say, wait a minute, why is a, a you know, a state employee doing this. But New Six political analyst and UCF history professor Dr. Jim Clark says sheriffs are not just an employee. They are elected officers. And the U.S. Office of Special Counsel issued an opinion clarifying the Hatch Act for them four years ago, saying they generally do not extend those prohibitions on campaigning to employees holding elective office. Legally, Clark and Nienheis say that clears the way for sheriffs to publicly endorse anyone they want. And Clark adds, possibly getting good with someone they believe will win. That's why you're not seeing many law enforcement people with, uh, with Democrats uh, in Florida this year. Uh, they're all going towards the Republicans because they think the Republicans are going to win. All right, so we asked the local sheriffs why they felt it was so important for them to appear in these ads in the first place, and only one of them responded. Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd told us that it is important that we have a highly qualified person as our next agriculture commissioner, and I feel that he is the best person for the job right now. We also asked the candidates why it was important to feature the sheriffs in their ads. Marco Rubio's campaign director told us Senator Rubio is grateful for the hard work that these, these officers do every day, and Florida law enforcement know that Marco will always have their back. And again... Election day is Tuesday. Yeah, we'll see very mm -hmm. shortly if it moves the needle or not. Mm -hmm. We will see. Eric Sandoval. Thank, Thank you. you. You got it.